All right, I'm just showing how I would wrap uh, multi-star packs in the casting material. Um, for this one, this one I'm doing two 4S packs because I'm going for a 20S build, so I have two uh, two 6S batteries, um, two 6S multi-stars, and then I'm going to do an 8S. And it'll give me 20s. So, all right. So, the problem that we have with this uh, pack right now is they're just kind of loosey goosey. So I'm going to put tape on these packs to make them one solid piece. And I'm using just Scotch painters tape, so uh, it's easily removable. Basically, it's holding it together well enough to do what we need to do but in case I need to undo it or whatever it'll just easily come off and it won't rip off labels and everything else so I'm going to try to line these up basically to make sure they're even and um, you can do this several ways like I said you can put them on their end or you know find something that you can push against to where you can even them out and once you get that first layer of tape on there they shouldn't really move anymore after that so I'm just kind of not really doing it any particular spot or anything one of the main things you see how we have the separation here uh, I want to grip the pack and basically get out all the space and make sure that you know they're tightly bound so just applying general pressure so I got the back part done here I got the top once you get that top layer they're pretty much fixed together so they'll pretty much uh, will be locked in place and so I'm just going around the whole pack here If you wrap it correctly, it should meet exactly uh, where you uh, started. So I'm going to do one more strand closer up here. Like I said, you see how like, if I left it, left it relaxed, it's not going to close that gap up, but I'm going to just squeeze it and it buckles that tape just a little bit. So pack here should be squared up enough and like I said I've tested this pack it gives me capacity and everything so it's a known good pack so I'm not just blindly wrapping something and it's and it's no good so all right so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take uh, my my cotton casting material and it's this stuff here and I'm going to uh, going to start wrapping the pack here um, mainly what this does is it gives it a little bit of cushion and it prevents the casting tape from sticking uh, sticking to the pack so, and like I said, I'm just doing one layer, one layer for start. And like I said, it sticks to itself. It's almost like felt or some other material. Um, so, once you get that first layer, then you can kind of go crazy with it and just continue to wrap the pack. And so, I'm going to go down the length of the pack and then come back and do another another layer back to the end All right, I'm kind of getting to the end here 
start going back in the other direction. So one way I, uh, when I went the other way, I did it real slow, and then coming back, I was being really aggressive, and coming back the opposite direction. And then of course I'm at the end of this pack, so I'm finishing it up. And then so this roll is about to run out, so this kind of ends up ending perfectly. So. So I'm kind of kind of done wrapping there. I'm gonna grab another roll so I can go around in the other direction. And this stuff is a little bit taller than the pack, so I'm going to end up having to uh, cut it. So looks like I'm lining up the edge of it with the bottom of the pack. And then I just go around, go around the pack. And I'm not really doing this too tightly. I'm just doing it just to like tight enough to keep tension on it. And for this axis, I'm going to go around probably three times to kind of match the same amount of thickness that I got on the other side. So this is number two. I'm going to do it one more time. And that would be three. All right, uh, I need to go find me a pair of scissors real quick. Mine seems to have walked off. Okay, I have my scissors. I'm just going to cut it. Of course, be careful not to cut your wires here. Okay? All right, so now... You see that we have all of, I'm not sure if you can tell by the white whiteness, but we have this little lip all the way around. So I'm going to trim that off here. So fold these wires out the way a little bit. All right, so now we have a pack that's wrapped up, ready for the casting material. Just throw away these scraps here. For the casting material, you're gonna need uh, some water. Let's see if I can get this in frame. Put it right here. I'm gonna go get the casting material and uh, I'm gonna use two rolls for this. Okay, so I have my Casting material here is made by 3M. 
Um, I buy it in pack of 10 off of Amazon. They come in different colors. I was gonna do a lime green to kind of match the multi-stars, but uh, considering I did the other packs in black and to go over it with green, I might need another layer so the green really pops. If I start it with green, then it will probably look a little bit more authentic. But when you start with black and then try to cover it up with green, it's not a really, really good look. So these come in packs of 10. I paid $40 for about 10. And um, they come they come 10 to a case, so it's roughly about a little over $4 a roll. And the thing is, you don't open this stuff until you're absolutely ready. Because once you open it, it automatically starts curing. Okay, the warmer the water, the warmer the water, the quicker this sets. The colder it is, the more working time you have. And if you notice it trying to seize up while you're working on it, just kind of dip your hands in the water and run it over the material. And it will kind of give you a little bit more time. But you roughly have about five minutes to work with this stuff so uh, you got to be very very careful and this stuff does require some gloves to work with so I have some nitrile gloves that I that I use to to work so go ahead and put these on and again notice I haven't opened the pack yet as soon as you open it it starts using the moisture in the air to cure so don't open it until you're absolutely ready. I have my gloves on and what my game plan is, I'm going to start wrapping this first and then I'm going to cut the corner and start wrapping in the other direction. I know for a fact that I'm going to run out early and from my previous attempts, it's these, this uh, hard case, it really gets its strength from the layers. So I'm gonna have to use about two rolls to get the hardness that I want for this to really, really work. So we have our water here. And just trying to make sure I'm ready for this. Cause again, I don't have any time to play around with. Take this, you open it up. You get a roll that looks sort of sort of like this. Roll it back up. And this stuff does the ink in it is really, really stainy. So I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in. So dipping it in the water. And the videos online say you want to squeeze it out. I say don't squeeze it out. The more water that you have, the more working time that you'll have. And so you really want to dip it for about 15, 20 seconds. Let the excess drip off. Alright, so I don't mind getting my bench a little wet here. And so I'm going to start wrapping the battery. And this stuff is pretty stretchable, so you want to you want to stretch it a little bit. And one of the things is when you start wrapping, the cotton is going to start sticking to your gloves here. Let me move this water out of the way. There we go. And there's just it's one of the things is just all about getting this first layer done. The sooner that you can get it wrapped over itself. the easier that this would become. So I finally got everything. I got the first layer done. So time to start being a little bit faster. You don't have a lot of time. So and all right so now that I got the sides done I'm gonna start doing that hard turn going over the corner. All right, 
right, so this one starts getting a little tricky here. Trying to get the maximum coverage. Now I'm zigzagging back in the other direction here. And I can already tell this is going to be come up a little short, but I'm using two rolls, so I'll get my strength and thickness from the other layers that I'm going to put down. And the first layer I was kind of overlapping the second layer I'm almost laying them right next to each other it's starting to starting to seize up here a little bit so wetting it down a little bit I'll try to finish this up before I can't peel it off the roll is getting really tight it wasn't even five minutes Cut this one a little bit short. I'm really running out of time with this stuff here. Actually, partially unwrap it. And try to. So just wetting it down a little bit more just to get those few extra seconds of working time in the end you want to smooth it smooth it down all right so I already knew that one one wasn't gonna finish this up so, so right now I'm just uh, smoothing that tail end down right here and I'm waiting for it to cure a little bit and one thing what I can do since it's laying down like this what I can do is simply just put it on that side and let it rest on that side but you see how the cotton is so sticky that the cotton will start coming up or whatever but uh that's the first layer of this pack and you can kind of tell that i didn't get in fit didn't get finished uh with it so i will finish up and reinforce everything that's already here with the second layer and then it will it'll be good to go I think that side is, uh, I think that's going to stick. Let's see if I can try to help this out a little bit because this looks like it's kind of slightly peeling up. So what I'm doing is like while it's still trying to set, I'm going to just wet it down a little bit and then flip it on its end. kind of help it stick and bond those layers together but anytime that you see like you still see the white in here this is one layer this isn't stiff enough you want at least three to four layers so on my next pass I'm going to start focusing on the corners and the ends the body is still the body is all right it's just I want to get these corners and the ends situated um, then the rest over the with silver left over on the on the reel then I'll just go over and do another another pass on the body of it but trying to get these corners that because that's where most of your damage is going to come from it's going to come from the 
the edges and the corners and this stuff when it's bonded properly once it goes around those corners those layers are really really compact and infused well so it makes for really really hard corners so all right so that did help out this and bonding bonding it good so I think I can go ahead and start with the next layer here so I'm going to open up another pack here keeping the same gloves the gloves aren't sticky anymore when that resin is wet and it's curing and it's starting to finish up curing it gets real real sticky after after it gets done curing it's not sticky anymore so all right so my game plan is to start on the sides but I'm focusing on the ends a little bit more than the rest of it as I go over the corners then I'll get the body again so all right it's done now second roll in the water Should be wet enough. Let's see, I'm focusing on the sides as go around. So, on the sides I go. Shoot. So, getting that first layer to stick is a doozy. trying to hold the tail in while I get it around the corner once I once I wrap over that tail then I can start going crazy with it all right so the tail is, is done so let's get to wrapping it like I want it I'm just crisscrossing. Make sure I get over those corners. on this one I made it to the end and like I said the end of the roll is really really tricky so uh, there's a little lip here I'm just gonna peel it apart and give it that nice final touch and wetting it a little bit and then for for this since it the end tends to like to peel up what I'm gonna do is flip it over on the tail end here and so right now I'm just massaging the pack making sure the layers are bonded together really good and I don't see any white The only place where I see white is where the the wires are exiting out. And like I said, just massaging the pack, make sure all the layers bond together. You can hear it curing, it almost sounds like a snap, crackle, pop, like Rice Krispies. And it's getting slightly warm to the touch. It's not like, oh my God, it's hot. But it's um, just slightly, you can tell that there's a slight temperature difference. 
so again that's where the end was massage that in really good and so like the only only vulnerable spot on this is right there where the where it exits so that's pretty much it so all I gotta do is pretty much wait for it to cure I'm flipping it back over on that tail because that tail is still setting but this is still curing and once it's done it's it's ready to go it's it's hard so um, just throwing everything away and and that's it that's the wrap you know that's how you hard case these packs and again I will only do this on known to be good packs worst case scenario you can um, once this cures you can get a good pair of scissors and right where you know I showed you I showed you that slit you can cut this casting material off with a very very good pair of scissors so this isn't final or anything the internal cotton gives it kind of some cushion the fiberglass outside gives it that hard reinforcement that you need so now I can put this in my triangle bag and not have to worry about um, damaging the packs because I can uh, on the packs that I have I can kind of already tell I already used them once or twice I can already tell where it's rubbing and where the pressure points were on the pack this is one that's already cured and you know I'm gonna go over it one more time because you can still see some white in certain places so um, but very very good I mean you can do what you want to with this this is just basically a tutorial on how I did my packs whether you do it or not or whatever um, don't don't I wouldn't say I don't care but you know everybody's gonna find something wrong with what I'm doing so but that's that you know thanks for watching you guys